Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. In today's open studio lesson, we're looking at the artwork of Faith Ringgold. Faith Ringgold is easily one of my favorite artists. She does such interesting things with multimedia within her art. So we're gonna do something a little different today and pull some fabrics out and make art with fabrics. Let's get started. Ringgold became famous for creating colorful quilted narrations that talked about civil rights and her political beliefs. This quilt is a self-portrait based on a book that Ringgold wrote called Seven Passages to Flight. It's based on her memories of her childhood in Harlem. In the first panel, we see Faith Ringgold sitting on her mother's lap. Ringgold learned how to quilt from her mother. The second panel refers to Faith's childhood battle with asthma. She was often bedridden and spent her time making art in bed. This is one of the first times Faith decided to change history in her work. She put two boys, one white, one black, sitting together eating watermelon in front of one of George Washington's soldiers. This was a class assignment. Her teacher asked her to make both boys black with the white boys looking on, but Faith disagreed. This self-portrait alludes to Faith Ringgold and her time at City College in New York. At the time, only women were matriculated to the School of Education, and so to become an artist, she had to become an art teacher. Faith Ringgold also created a book titled Seven Passages to a Flight. This panel shows Cassie Louise Lightfoot, a character from Ringgold's children's book Tar Beach. This panel represents a mural in the 125th Street Station in Harlem. It features Marian Anderson and Paul Robeson in flight. They are both accomplished singers and civil rights activists. This panel is titled Mona Lisa and the Little Girls and is a reference to Dancing at the Louvre, another story quilt by Ringgold. It shows her and her young friends dancing around the halls of the Louvre in Paris. And the last panel has Faith Ringgold and her husband Burdette flying over the George Washington Bridge. Let's see if we can make a self-portrait panel of ourselves. For this lesson, you'll need construction paper, scissors, glue, markers, and some fabric if you have it. You might also want to use some yarn or string to assemble your portrait. Thinking about your story, like Faith Ringgold, pick a memory from your life and make a picture of that scene on one of the square pieces of paper. Color in the design and add any fabrics, buttons, or tissues, or anything you have laying around. Just go ahead and make eight more panels and tell the story of your life just like Faith Ringgold. Thanks so much for joining me for today's open studio lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to see your quilt patches if you wouldn't mind posting your work on social media with the hashtag MyMPG, then we can all check it out. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.